Well, hello everybody. How are we doing today? Happy Friday. Right now, it's happy Thursday to me. It's about 8.30. I am not far off from bed, so I figured I better get this done. I have to see if this style grows on me, you guys. I have seen it 11 million times where you're like half and half with a nail tape to separate, and it just... I don't know. Every time I try it, I'm not in love with it. How about that? So, we're on day 13 of Nail Miss. Oh my gosh, we're over halfway through. What? That's crazy. Uh, December 10th is when this goes up. It's December 9th right now. The night before. The night before day 13. <laughs> okay, I wanted to show these real quick today. So these went on on December 4th, and it is the 9th, so they've been on five days. Still looking good as far as I would say, but I wanted to trim the this one, this one, and this one back and give them a file. This guy died in a tragic grocery shopping, well, grocery putting away accident today had to come back a good bit too it's like a little you know broke off a little piece of the side so then what do you do so anyway um, we're using blue to pest my love and plaid reputation plaid reputation I believe is retired I'm pretty sure like 98% sure maybe 99% actually and um, and blue to pest is of course but the the like silvery bits well I'll show you when I pull it up but really as a whole that that sets kind of sheer like more sheer than I think well more sheer than I expected probably more sheer than just people expected in general I think this is the smaller side so what I wanted when they're sheer like that you guys you have to, um, this is going to be a little teeny bit big, but hopefully not horrible since I did trim that guy back. <clears throat> um, when they're real, when they're sheer like this, if you want the sheerness to show, like if you want to play with it a bit, you need to go bold underneath it, which is why I'm using blue to pest and I could have of course used um, any of the neons I think I think even one of the good like even like bad blood would be lovely I just um, my head was like can we have a break from all the red and green please red and green and gold and you know so on and so forth. So we got a little blue pest going. Willow and I went and did our like hopefully last shop of before Christmas. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, so busy everywhere. And we even went, you know, by noontime and still it was redonkulous everywhere. Target was crazy. Walmart was crazy. Although Target was more crazy. But, you know, it's done. It's done. Got the end of stocking stuff. I got the end of little food bits. Well, that's not true. I still have to pick up some actual, like, a couple whole oranges but I want to wait and do that like right before I'm going to use them so that it's the good life is so that they're good you know I don't want them sitting around for a couple weeks I mean it still is a bit you know before I'm going to be using all the stuff so I'll let them wait a little bit um you beautiful beast so yeah so we did that and um came home and 
got everything put away and I was like, I am so wiped out. So I set up my phone quick to do this for you guys. And because the little girls at work will be, even the little guys at work will be super offended if I show up tomorrow and have a whole naked hand. So, had to be sure I got it done. Come on, little bugger. It's hard using these thumb bits, but at the same time, you know, I don't want to waste a bunch since I'm only doing it on one hand. It's not a big deal that it's only going to be for a day. It's just that, you know, since they're only going on one hand, I don't want them to be wasted. See, I just can't decide. What do you guys think? Are you on board with this, like, half nail thing? I, I am not one to do, like, a French tip over a full nail. And I think that this feels a little bit reminiscent of that to me. And that's why I'm not loving it. Maybe. I don't really know. I made that up. No, that is really what I think, or what my head thinks of it. But it was good to get my nails. You know, some of them were really getting out of hand. So I got them trimmed back. This is um, by Joyful Nail. This nail tape is. They're all, all over. Amazon and I love this nail tape. It does not or I have not noticed that it it doesn't discolor under your top coat and those like the ones that are like, you know, little teeny tape rolls or whatever. That is one thing I notice with them is they like to lose their color when you put your top coat on and that's not fun so plus these come you know you're getting like three four sizes of nail tape on one little strip and they do come in a million colors these guys are gonna need my hot flex bag over them for sure let me get these tapes secured I actually thought this tape I was using was a little closer to Budapest than it is but I guess that's okay because if it really was I mean because when you look at it like this it's like looks super close but then when it's side by side it's a hair lighter but if it did really match spot on that probably wouldn't be good because then I would lose my point to it right oh, curse you little rosy hairs I think this one's going to be a little hair short, but it's okay because it's going to have that topper on it. So I was super excited to get the end of the little stocking bits today. Um, so the reason I had went to both Target and Walmart is I'm looking for this stupid... Rubbermaid, oh shit, what's it called? Rubbermaid Power Scrub, I think it's called. It's where you get like, you know, cleaning products. It's in that general area. And basically, it looks like an amped up version of an electric toothbrush. Um,. You know, and it's a scrubber for, like, whatever. Sink, toilet, tub, whatever you want to use it for, right? And my mom has a lot of um, arthritis in her hands and gets, like, 
oh, I don't know what it's called now, like where your finger, her fingers will lock like this and stuff, and she gets the cortisone shots in them, but still really struggles with it, so I was like, oh, that's brilliant, she can use it, you know, whatever, when she's cleaning. Okay, so I can't find them on Amazon short of the knockoff, all right, but all my area targets, when I look on the app, have them in stock, tell me what aisle they're in. I have been to four, four effing targets now in the past like three days, and every single one of them say it's in stock, although I'm standing there looking at its empty damn section. You guys is putting me over the edge, is putting me over the edge. And they won't let me order it online from Target. I gotta get it in the damn store and I can't get it. And it's only $20. Jeez Louise, it's not, you know? What the hell? Ugh, it's making me crazy. And like, this is what happens to me when shit like that happens. I should just go, whatever. You know, I'll get it for for Easter or her birthday or whatever. Like, I'll get it eventually, right? No. Instead, the stubbornness in me is going to go to, like, every target in an hour radius. And there's a lot of damn targets in an hour radius because... I'm in Minnesota and it's where Target is from. It's where we're based. It's where the first Targets were. It's, you know what I mean? Like, we, we have, I don't even know what to compare it to. We have, we have more Targets than Walmarts. Does that help? We are a very, a very Target state. <laughs> um, so anyway, this thing is haunting me. You see this? I gotta dig my dang garbage pans out, you guys. So today, instead of bringing out the plastic one, I just put my little mess right on the counter. Because I can do that. So anyways, it is... Now what did I just say it was called? A Rubbermaid Power Scrubber. Some, something like that. I don't know. It's like a little handheld scrubby. So... Hopefully, I mean, I've got till Christmas. I could actually, maybe it would work better if I just, like, called. Because I can, I can pay them over the phone if they want. I don't know, I'm just not having luck with it. Why am I not having luck with something so dumb? And to all you people out there buying your wife's Rubbermaid power scrubbers, she's not going to be happy, so quit it. You now get her a real gift. Like good coffee and chocolate. So, okay. Now this one I like better. I don't know why. Maybe I like it better on shorter nails. Or maybe it took me until my thumb to get good at it. That could be. Alright, so, oh, how did everybody do on that little, oh, what's it called? Our advent calendar? Where you had to guess the, um... Uh, the secret agent stuff. I got two of them right. And then just basically told the calendar they were wrong. That they had some wrong. <laughs> I'm like, you guys definitely got some of these wrong. It was not me. So yeah. Two right out of four. That's not great. Well, this isn't lined up. Very well, okay, here's the thing. If I'm going to have something like this crooked, then I would have rather I went more crooked, you know, and made it look like that's what I wanted it to be. I hate when I'm trying to get something straight and get it crooked, but I wanted this one to be like a little package, you know, where the other ones are just the halves. But, oh gosh, Budapest is beautiful, you guys. And these even kind of, sort of go together, don't they? Yeah. I got lots of edge cleanup to do. And I'm going to put my little heat bag on them to soothe their soul. Yeah. They'll grow on. I think they're going to grow on me because I already feel better about them. So. But there's these. Just know that 
when you see them now tomorrow they'll just be a little shorter and I'm not even cutting them I'm not trimming them back because I feel like the tips need it I actually feel like the tips are doing great I'm trimming them back because they're getting something on my nail they're getting out of hand long at least on a couple of them so and since I trimmed these when this guy had his little accident I figured it was only fair Oh yeah, I can see the blue peeping through that a bit. I may, I'll be excited to show you this tomorrow in the sunlight, because that'll look pretty. Then I think we'll see the blues better. And yeah, I definitely got to get some heat on this to set the blue to pest. Yeah. Okay, you guys. So, we've got some cute stuff coming up. Let me see. Yeah. We're going to do another little sheer thing, I think tomorrow, which will be Saturday for you guys. Um, I think. I think that's what I'm doing. I don't know. I have four baggies out right now. I just have to decide which order I'm going to put them in. So tomorrow, which is when you guys are watching this, Friday, Friday my plan is to get a few recorded on my camera um, so that we have much better quality again and I won't feel like rushed and crazy next week. This week I kind of just got overloaded and and overloaded. <laughs> so I'm still working on, well I got Shannon's keychains done and right now I'm working on sparkle stickers for her. So I've got like eight more sheets to cut now. Pretty though. Pretty sparkles. Alright you guys, have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, I can definitely see that blue peeping through and I love it. See, now they already grew on me in a matter of 15 minutes. I already feel better. Have a great night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.